Hey everyone, it is October 2017 and I'm so excited to be sharing this fall newsletter with you. Fall is my second favorite time of year. I actually really love the winter and fall is my second favorite. And then I like the spring and then the summer. And uh, even though the summer is my least favorite time of year, I had the most amazing summer this year in Glyndebourne uh, doing my debut there in the role of Norina in Don Pasquale. It was an amazing success for everyone. It was so fun. It was we all had such a great time building a comedy uh, around each other. And um, now I'm here in London, uh, getting ready to make my debut at the Royal Opera House Covent Garden. And I am like so unbelievably thrilled because it's Lucia di La Mermur, which I haven't sung in five years. And it's a new conductor for me, Michele Mariotti. It's a new baritone for me, Chris Maltman. New tenor, two tenors actually we have cast. Um, there's Charles Castronovo and there's Ismael Jordi. And both of them I've never worked with or met before. So everyone is new. And the production is by Katie Mitchell, who is brilliant. And we've just been in rehearsals now for two days. I love her. I think she's absolutely extraordinary. She has so much knowledge um, to impart. And I just feel like I'm like a sponge. I'm just absorbing everything I possibly can. I mean, everyone in the Royal Opera House is incredibly professional, incredibly skilled and gifted. And I feel like a student, um, again, which I really, I love feeling like a student. I always feel like a student, but this time I feel like even more so because, you know, it's, it's my debut and Lucia is on stage the entire time. She never leaves the stage throughout the entire opera beginning to end. So it's extremely taxing for me, but it's really a challenge. Um, and one I, I feel like in my heart, uh, I'm ready to do. And musically, it's a role that I feel very, very comfortable with because I've been studying it for so many years and I feel like this is the time, this is it. So I'm, I'm just really, really excited. I hope that you guys can make it out to that. The, um, the date, the, first performance is on October 30th, day before Halloween, appropriately, and we have eight performances of that. Uh, and then right after, I head to New York to sing my first ever performances of Gretel in Hansel and Gretel. Now, I sang the Dew Fairy years ago in this production by Richard Jones, which is also a fabulous production. I love it. Uh, and this time I'll be singing Gretel. So I'm really looking forward to going back. The cast in that is fabulous, conducted by Donald Runnicles. Tara Arat is the Hansel. Um, it's basically an all-star cast. It's Dolores Zajic as the uh, mother. The witch is Gerhard Siegel. Uh, the father is Quinn Kelsey. Oh my God, like it's, it's, I am so, so privileged to be working with these people um, all this season. It's all new people to me. Um, I don't think I've ever shared a production with any of the cast members I am currently working with, um, except Michele Pertusi, who's singing the Raimondo in my Lucia. So that's the only person I've ever worked with. Every single other person, I've only ever just, I know them. So it feels like just new faces. I feel like first day of school. Uh, the other thing I'll be doing in Berlin, it's just one concert. It's November the 4th. It's in between my Lucia performances. I'm just going to pop over there. And actually, Michele Pertusi, Ismael Jordi, and I will all be singing in the AIDS Gala that is taking place in Berlin, conducted by Maestro Sagripanti, who conducted me in Don Pasquale this summer. So he and I get to work together again. But um, the three of us from this Lucia production are all gonna pop over and sing um, various arias and duets and stuff for this concert for um, AIDS, to benefit AIDS. Uh, so we are really looking forward to that. I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, I've never sung in Berlin, so that'll be kind of a debut there. So everything feels fresh and new and totally like, it's like somebody took a dice and just like rolled them fresh for me and it feels like all starting over, you know, but it's the same game, you know, and I feel really excited about all these new experiences. So um, with all that said, I hope you guys can make it to uh, some of these performances. The, the Hansel and Gretel is over the holidays. So that opens on December the 18th, if I'm correct. December the 18th, yes, in New York City at the Met. So if you're around New York, uh, around the holidays, it goes on until January 6th, it's the last performance. So if you're around New York in the holidays and you want to come swing by and see a production, it would be so, so fun. It's a really beautiful show. Uh, and uh, anyway, that's all I have to say. I love it. I'm so happy. This is the most wonderful life, living, living the dream, you know? And uh, again, I thank you guys always for your support. You've been incredible. So thank you so much. And thank you for following me. And I'll see you guys hopefully at one of the shows. Bye. Take care. Hey everybody, I just got out of Lucia rehearsal here at the Royal Opera House. I'm standing in front of the theater right now. I just wanted to give you guys a quick intro. Uh, we're going to share with you some footage, some pictures from my Yellowstone vacation that I took right before we got here. And have a little bit of a mad scene for you to hear. Enjoy. 
enjoy. We're doing a twin sisters trail in Rocky Mountain National Park outside of Boulder, Colorado, and we're just getting the first peaks of fall. Oh, <laughs> 